The mean center has a minimizing property. It is the location that minimizes the sum of squared distances to all points. Recall that the distance between two points is simply the square root of the sum of the distances between the two coordinates of each point squared. So x1 minus x2 and y1 minus y2. So here we have a point x1, y1 and another point x2, y2 and this formula is the distance between those two points. If we were to find the square distance, we square both sides, that's the square distance, and when we square the right hand side, we simply remove the square root and we see that the distance squared is the sum of the two squared component differences. And that's precisely what we have inside this summation over here. So what we are seeing here, each summand in this sum is the distance, is sorry, the square distance from a data point to the mean center. And we find that if we calculate the mean center, then this sum will be minimized. Meaning, if we were to replace xc and yc with any other location on the map, our sum of squared distances to that point would be higher than the one used when we input xc, yc in these locations. Now, the, the mean center on each component dimension actually minimizes the distances in that direction, in that dimension. So xc, x bar c, minimizes the distances in the x dimension, and yc minimizes the distances in the y dimension, but the combined centroid, xc, yc, does not minimize the Euclidean distance over the plane. We're going to call that location the Euclidean median. The Euclidean uh, uh, median minimizes the sum of the Euclidean distances from itself to the points. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a formula to directly calculate the location of the Euclidean med median. Instead, we can use software tools to, to, uh, to search out for that location. But we don't have a formula that we can use to compute that location directly from the data points, which is probably good news for you, which means that I'm not going to ask you to calculate the Euclidean me median by hand. But here's an example of the Euclidean median calculated in a software package. We see the same data set that we've been using over and over, and here uh, with five points, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm showing you the mean center and the Euclidean median. This is the Euclidean median over here. We can see that it's fairly similar to the mean center, but, it's not, but it is offset just a little bit. We're also going to consider the, the case where we have weights on our, uh, in our data set. In that case, we can calculate the, U, the weighted Euclidean median. Again, the weighted Euclidean median has no solution that we can compute by hand. Here's an example of the weighted Euclidean median of the population as it traces westward from 1880 to 2000. We see that there, it is slightly different to the graph that we had for the mean center of the population over the same time period. Here we have the weighted Euclidean median based on the weights that we had in a previous case.